Looks like we've got Stab versus Mr. Brew Kane. Brun Kane. Brun Kane. All right. Brun Kane. See what characters are coming through in the building here for Stabs and Mr. Brun Kane. You guys are just joining us. We are here. DreamHack Atlanta, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Singles Pools. Cutting through all the singles action just to get you guys into that top 128, top 64, where all of these competitors will be battling out for the qualifying spot for the Panda Cup finale. Charles, how come you didn't enter, bro? I, you know, it's funny. I did enter the last DreamHack Atlanta. Yeah, I know. I was that, like, you should I, run to, it back. To be fair, that was a very long time ago. I competed a little bit more in the first year. It was a very different game as well. Yeah, this was yeah. like post or pre-quarantine, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. For Atlanta. That, that, that was pre-quarantine. Yeah, yeah, for that, Atlanta. That was actually when Sword and Shield came out. That was oh, yeah. quite what a while is, ago. What is up with Pokemon releasing games at DreamHack weekends? Very interesting, right? That's crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. They're consistent. They're consistent. Trying to play. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I was, I was able to pick up a couple local PR wins, you know what I'm saying? There here and there, here and there. Nobody can prove it because everybody's too lazy to go back and look, but yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a page from your Actually, book. Actually, now that I think about it, I remember commentating you a topic. <laughs> prove it wrong, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> you won't bring up the, the start GG. You, you ain't, won't, you ain't you got won't the PG it. stats for that. <laughs> we on oh, you right now. Looks like we got Ridley here. Rids, I'm cool with that. Oh, I thought we were going to have the Ridley Samus. That would have actually been the that classic. That would have been so hype. But looks like we got Link on the table. All right, Ridley and Link, characters we don't see too often in the current meta, and that's one thing I always love. There's always a little something special. No matter what part of the bracket you turn into for Smash, you can see all kinds of different characters, and of course, all these competitors taking it very seriously. You're going to be able to see these characters played at that higher level, right? Yeah, no doubt about that. I mean, Winner's Round 1 is definitely the place where you can certainly find just maybe some of the more unorthodox characters as you get deeper into bracket. But the fun thing about a character like Ridley, maybe not so fun right now for Link, who's trying to land, able to do so with the down air at last, but just coming through like a freight train. Ridley, oh, that's going to oh. be a stock, no doubt about that. You overshoot the land, he's going to shoot you off the top, baby. Yeah, shooting off the top hey, with the extra charge on mm -hmm. that down smash, that stomp coming out from Ridley. Well, let's just say I don't want to get hit by any smash attacks. Yeah, no, he, thank you. He is definitely uh, very powerful. Even that tail swipe, oh, that wow. down tilt, so much area to control. Yep. Also, shout out to having one of the coolest named moves, Space Pirate Rush, the side special. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Such a sick move. That is, that is a dope name. I absolutely agree with you on that one. Oh, good catch on the force match. Nice. Both hits. Going to chomp off that first stock. Right, crowd, crowd. Wow, I love this crowd, bro. They got, yeah. Listen, if you're playing on stage, you got some friends. You feel like a superstar right now. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You know what's Ooh. crazy? The Come force match actually detonating the uh, the bomb there from Link. That's tough. Any fire move is going to be able to detonate it if it does enough damage. Yep. And, of course, uh, Ridley with the fire breath, I think it's enough fire to detonate it. Yeah, he's definitely he's up there, obviously. I mean, there's a lot of character specialists, man, especially you know some of the more entertaining ones I definitely see are between these two characters. But right now, definitely seeing that my man Stab running game right now. Oh, down tilt into the forward air. Gonna use the fire breath, and that is gonna. Uh, yeah, that's gonna get your jump. Oh, okay. and he tried to extra didn't. with it. You missed the bear, Stab. See the you missed the bear. Now here, the thing is here, Stab. Like that's a gamer name, right? Stab. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna put it through your heart, Mister. What's that, Mister. Bruncane? That's a substitute teacher name. What are you doing out here, bro? <laughs> Not the substitute. What are you doing right now? Not even on the main roster, man. <laughs> you had to hit Mister. Bruncane with the My substitute. My student said Link is good. <laughs> Damn. You can't do them like that. I'll troll it. I'll troll it. It's only game number one. It's, game it's number only one. game one. It's game one. It's only baby. game one. Easy time. I got faith, Mr. Brun Game. Exactly. I'm, I'm trying to see a game number three. Let's run it back. The Plenty Link, the Ridley. Let's get it. I know Mr. Brun Kane is going to come in with the adaptation. I think it really is possible. I think the only thing, like, just like one of the big things is just stop overshooting the, the return the stage, right? That up B is overshooting a couple times. Got a spike, got a punish, smash attacks. You can tell Stab is very equipped and very ready for that. Ooh, the Nair not going to connect into the up tilt there. Not high enough for set. Wow, just ripping that up smash. Going to get the uh, great anti-air here. Stab coming through with that forward tilt. Great spacing, but the up beat just barely out of range and charging up that forward smash. Maybe a little bit too long here. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, wow, throwing the arrow as well. Got all the combos on deck. That Nair, pretty safe. I think one thing we didn't see too much of was trying to, you know, utilize those zoning capabilities of Link. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to fight, Ridley. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely just keep him at bay. Like, you got more than just the bomb right there to, to utilize. I think he's kind of picking up on that right now. Look at that. Enjoying a little bit of a lead. Gets caught on stage right now, though. Oh, actually. Get, oh, so many things that can get I know, I was going to say. Two fireballs and a bomb. 
Oh, but there's the up smash. One unique thing about that really up smash, it actually starts from the backside here. So going to start that up a little earlier to get that. But the forward tilt looks like keeping it even and the crowd erupting here for Mr. Brunke. No doubt about that, man. Love the immediate response. It's just like, all right, man, I see those game number two. You got me game number one, but it's all good. He said adaptation was key. Charles definitely doing a few things a little bit differently, most notably finding some combo strings, too, as long with the projectiles from Link, making this much more competitive. Yeah, I love the pick. Final destination. Mr. Brunkane looking very comfortable here. The Sour Nair not going to connect into the up smash. Maybe looking for a block string here, but a ton of fireballs. It's going to slice right through all the projectiles here. Dash attack not going to quite hit the mark, but there's no double jump here. Okay, Mr. Brunkane finally oh, wow. going to land, but setting up the bomb. Got him. Let's go. One more time. Keep him at bay. Oh, doesn't get the lineup, though. Ooh, but catching the row after the forward zone. What a ledge trap coming out from Mr. Brunkane, and this time with the lead here, game number two. Mr. Brunkane. Okay, oh. abruptly just ends that stop. <laughs> yeah, the down smash covering a little bit, but the fully charged on Ooh. the down smash. Try to hit it with the run back. Uh, I do like the stagger effect of that, right? It just makes it feel like the hit's just that much more potent. Oh, oh no, the snow! <laughs> the one thing he had stopped doing from game one was overshooting that recovery. You mentioned it, it before. I know, I mentioned it, and then crutch time, it comes back to bite him. Unfortunate, but a heck of a response for game number two from Mr. Brew Kane. Definitely put up a showing. But props to Stab for getting the job done. Fully charged forward smash. Hit him with the hit him with the bad breath, man. Yeah, put him down sometimes, brother. Put him down yeah, sometimes. I mean, what and, it is. and Stab was ready. Stab was ready for that. Stab was ready for that the entire set. Oh. When, when you're charging that forward smash that early, you're so ready for that. And I mean, usually in those situations, Link wants to overshoot that up beat just to stave off some pressure, right? Yeah. Like, oh, okay, I think my opponent's gonna run off to a drop zone option. Let me throw out the early up beat. But yeah, Stab not really going for those kind of options, not really going for those drop zone nares, really staying on stage, either going for those overshoot attempts or trying to get a two frame or really just cash out on the ledge trap, right? So great stuff from Stab really keeping the game plan consistent and getting rewarded and getting these early stocks, which was such a big deal. I mean, right there, Mr. Brunkane losing the stock at what, like 50 to 80-ish percent. Yeah, it was tough. Link can be so heavy, especially with the bomb recovery, can be pretty difficult to get the KO on.